Q Grow Masters Empire. Well, today, today I'm here to talk about a new toy I just got. It's called the Z Grill. Z Grills 1000. Oh, yeah, 1000 series, baby. And uh, I already got it all installed and ready to go. And uh, let's go ahead and talk about it. And let you know what it's all about. Let's do it. Woo! Okay, so here's the hopper here. This is where you actually put uh, 20 pounds of pellets in here. And as you can see, there's the uh, auger there that uh, feeds into the smoking chamber uh, to get some uh, smoke into the actual pellet grill. So pretty awesome 20 pound hopper here that you can put on here. Uh, you have your dial mode here. Uh, you got your shutdown, you got your smoke. Um, this does go up to 450. Now I did have a 700 series and uh, the sweet spot was 350 degrees on my 700 series. So, uh, I don't know. We're gonna have to uh, try it out and see what happens with this Z Grills. But I'm looking forward to it. Oh yeah. Now let's go ahead and open up the inside. Let me open the hopper here. Go ahead and open the inside here. As you can see, it has a, a large amount of space compared to the 700. It has three layers, guys, three layers. And that's what gives you the 1,000 square inches of cooking space, guys. Pretty awesome. It gives you a lot, a lot of room to put, what, 54 burgers, I'm assuming here. But uh, that's just my guesstimate when it comes to it. Um, it does have a front shelf here, which is pretty awesome. Um, you know, adding a little, you're gonna braise your, uh, or sauce your, you know, your meats, you can do that here. And uh, that's what this table's for here. I can add the meats. So it has a side uh, tray table here. And uh, you can actually put your, your utensils, tools, spatulas, tongs, whatever you have here. Got the smokestack here, right close to the smoker, of course. Um, I did add the aluminum foil here, so it makes it easier for me to clean. Um, the one thing I really love about this now is that uh, it has some 10 inch rims here. Uh, big monster tires and I say 10 inch but maybe probably 7 8 but I say 10 inches why not <laughs> and uh, this really allows me to move this Z grills wherever I need it without worrying about rocks and worrying about dirt or anything so we got some monster tires right there um, here in the back the one thing I love too is that uh, this is the way you uh, clean your your uh, pellet grill here so instead of using a convent you know conventional vacuum or anything like that or a you know shot vac uh, all the ashes go down here and uh, you just take it out clean it up and throw it away and you're done so that is the first part here so the one thing I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step to uh, turn on your Z grills for the first time so I think that that's gonna be very important for a lot of new users that have a thousand series uh, or any smokers, so I'm gonna follow those instructions right here. So we got some instructions here and uh, it says initial fire instructions. So let's go ahead and make that happen. All right, so first thing it's saying is remove the porcelain grills, grease drain pan, and the heat baffle in the interior of the grill. So let's go ahead and make that happen. So obviously we have already opened the lid. Uh, we took all the foreign objects, make sure that things in the auger. Now we have the switch on off position, plug the power cord, which I already did. Very simple. Then you're gonna turn on your Z grills and turn your temperature dial to smoke mode. Once you do that, uh, then we're gonna follow these instructions. Uh, confirm that the timing uh, is, you know, uh, confirm the auger is turning wait one two minutes hold your fingers above the fire pit make sure there's a fire pot and confirm that the fan is blowing air through the fire pot uh, the the hot rod will heat up and it should be able to sense the heat coming from it in approximately one to two minutes so let's go ahead and do that now
So one or two minutes, we're gonna hope, go ahead and take a look. All right, there goes the rotation after one or two minutes there. As you can see, it's starting to turn. That's good news, guys. That's the first part we wanted to wait for, right there. Now, the next thing it was saying is that we wanted to check the hot rod, make sure there is uh, air blowing out, which they said to put your hand over. And I do feel the breeze blowing towards it. So that's a good sign. And that was within one to two minutes. So that's perfect. So once we see that, um, then we'll go ahead and turn the temperature dial to shut down and then we'll go from there. So it's doing its rotation again, as you can see. All right. So definitely is ready to go. So let's go ahead and put it on shutdown mode. It says it's gonna take about 10 minutes for it to shut down. And after the 10 minutes, uh, we can go ahead and fill up the hopper with some pellets. And then from there, uh, we can go ahead and do the temperature under high temperature so everything goes in. And then from there, uh, pellets will start to drop and then we'll do the shutdown cycle again after we're done. So. Let's go ahead and wait those 10 minutes, and then from there, we'll add the pellets. Oh yeah. All right, instructions say now to fill up the hopper. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now. All Now that I got that going, now I'm gonna put it on high mode on the dialer. So let's make that happen. And as you can see, it says, fill the pellet hopper with pellets, then turn the temperature to dial high. Uh, it takes some time for the pellets to travel through the tube. When the pellets start to drop, turn the temperature dial to shut down cycle. Leave the grill until it shuts off automatically. Uh, then turn the temperature dial to smoke, allow the pellets to come through for full flame. Once the flames are coming out of the fire pot, turn the temperature dial to shut down cycle and then let it, let the grill cool down. All right, so that's pretty much where the pellets will be dropping. So let's go ahead and make that happen now. We're gonna go to high, so it's all the way, 450 degrees. And uh, we're gonna wait and uh, see when the pellets come down. So stay tuned. All right guys, so I do see some pellets that are about to drop here. So this is the exciting part of it right here. I'm gonna have a few drop in there. And then from there, we're gonna put it on shutdown mode. Okay guys, so check it out. There it is. It's working. That's what we needed right there guys. Now we're gonna put it on smoke mode. Uh, we'll go from there. So I gotta shut it down. So I'm gonna put it on shutdown mode now. And we're gonna let it wait until it shuts off. Once it shuts off, or the fan blower shuts off, then we're gonna go ahead and put it on smoke mode. All right, guys? So smoke mode after the shutdown. Guys, now it's time to go ahead and put it on smoke mode. Now putting it on smoke mode, what we are going to wait for is, we're gonna allow the pellets to come to a full flame from here. And then once the flames are coming out of the fire pot, turn the temperature dial to shut down and let, it, let the grill cool down. Once that is completed, then I can go ahead and put all the components in there and uh, I can start grilling guys. So, woo, I can't wait, I cannot wait. But uh, reading here in the bottom, it does say place all the components like I mentioned. But once we see the whitish gray smoke coming out of the grill, 
We'll close the lid and turn the temperature dial to any cooking setting. So I'll probably be at 225 myself. Then set the temperature to high for 45 minutes setting to get rid of all the foreign matter. This step is done before you cook any food. So that's exactly what we need to do. And then once we do that, we'll please re we'll reheat the grill for 10 minutes before adding food. This takes your grill up to the faster and quicker research your, uh, your reach your desired cooking temperature, adding so food sooner and show down your heating process. Or is it shut down? No, slow down your heating process. Oh yeah. Very important down here. Always start the grill on a smoke setting with the lid open, guys. Never leave it closed. You definitely don't want to start a, a some type your top to blow off or something, but <laughs> you definitely don't want that, okay? So other than that, let's go ahead and take a look and see where that smoke comes out now. We're getting some smoke, guys. Here we go. igniting here we go there's the igniter this is gonna cause that white smoke to happen once we do that we'll go ahead and change the temperature to 225 smoke but now we're gonna put it on shutdown mode and then from there let it cool down put all the components in and we'll restart the heating process oh yeah right, guys now it's time to go ahead and put all the components back in so let's do it Now we're going to put it on smoke mode and wait for the smoke to come out and once we see that white smoke then we're going to put our preference of temperature and I'll be doing it about 225 and then from there for the next after 10 minutes I'm going to go ahead and put it on high for 45 minutes. Okay, so we got the Z grills already at 10 minutes. Um, the preferred temperature I had it at 225 now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and set it on the high position on the dial and uh, we're gonna do it for 45 minutes guys so I'm not gonna let you wait for 45 minutes but once it's done at 45 minutes shut it down and then you're ready to cook so guys that is the process of how to start your new Z grills 1000 guys and those that purchase or want to purchase a pellet grill hey I'll throw the link down you can go ahead and go in there and uh, definitely do that purchase it does help the channel grow as we grow together so there's gonna be a lot of great cooks be ready and uh, all I gotta say now is a uh, big room out <laughs>